Hello everybody, I'm Storyteller Naomi. I'm very excited to be reading to you today. I have two of my favorite stories and we have a special guest. We have Poppy the Unicorn. Hello Poppy, how are you today? Can you speak unicorn? He says, I'm fine Naomi, how are you? I'm excellent Poppy. All right kids, we are going to start with the day the crayons quit. <gasps> What did they quit? Let's find out. So this story is by Drew Daywalt and the pictures are by Oliver Jeffers and it is from Philomel Books, an imprint of Penguin Group. The Day the Crayons Quit. One day in class, Duncan went to take out his crayons and found a stack of letters with his name on them. To Duncan. Hey, Duncan, it is me, Red Crayon. We need to talk. You make me work harder than any of your other crayons. All year long, I wear myself out coloring fire engines, apples, strawberries, and everything else that is red. I even work on holidays. I have to color all the Santas at Christmas and all of the hearts on Valentine's Day. I need a rest. Your overworked friend, Red Crayon. So we have a very tired red crayon over here and a fire truck, some apples, hearts, and Santa that is waving. Dear Duncan, all right, listen. I love that I'm your favorite crayon for grapes, dragons, and wizard hats. But it makes me crazy that so much of my gorgeous color goes outside the lines. If you don't start coloring inside the lines soon, I'm going to completely lose it. You're a very neat friend, Purple Crayon. Do you sometimes draw out of the lines? Well, that is okay because I do too. I don't think Purple Crayon agrees because we have a very messy purple dragon, a wizard that is eating grapes, and, there, and it is very messy. Dear Duncan, I'm tired of being called light brown or dark tan because I am neither. I am beige and I am proud. I'm also tired of being second place to brown crayon. It's not fair that brown gets all the bears, ponies, and puppies while the only things I get are turkey dinners, if I'm lucky, and wheat. And let's be honest, when was the last time you saw a kid excited about coloring wheat? Your beige friend, beige crayon. I feel sorry for beige crayon right here. Duncan, gray crayon here, and you're killing me. I know you love elephants, and I know that elephants are gray, and that's a lot of space to color in all by myself. And don't even get me started on all of your rhinos, hippos, and humpback whales. You know how tired I am after handling one of those things, such big animals? Baby penguins are gray, you know, and so are very tiny rocks, pebbles. How about one of those once in a while to give me a brick? Your very tired friend, Gray Crayon. And see, Gray Crayon drew a baby penguin right here to show elephant, hippo, and rhino. Dear Duncan, you color with me, but why? Most of the time, I'm the same color as the page you are using me on. White. If I didn't have a black outline, you would even know I was there. And I'm not even in the rainbow. I'm only used to color snow or fill in the empty space between other things. And it leaves me feeling, well, empty. We need to talk. Your empty friend, white crayon. And on this page, it says White Cat in the Snow by Duncan. Hi, Duncan. I hate being used to draw the outline of things. Things that are colored in by other colors, all of which think that they're brighter than me. It's not fair when you use me to draw a nice beach ball and then fill the colors of the ball with all the other crayons. How about a black beach ball sometime? 
Is that too much to ask? Your friend, Black Crayon. So we have a black rainbow over here and a black beach ball. And Black Crayon is pleading with Duncan. Dear Duncan, as green crayon, I am writing for two reasons. One, to say that I like my workloads of crocodiles, trees, dinosaurs, and frogs. I have no problems and wish to congratulate you on a very successful Coloring Things Green career so far. The second reason I write is for my friends, Yellow Crayon and Orange Crayon, who are no longer speaking to each other. Both crayons feel that they should be the color of the sun. Please settle this soon because they're driving the rest of us crazy. Your happy friend, Green Crayon. So Green Crayon has been happy drawing dinosaurs, frogs, I think this is a bug, trees, and dinosaurs. And th these two dinosaurs, oh sorry, crocodiles. These two crocodiles look like they are recycling, which is very important. All right, let's see who is the true color of the sun, according to Duncan. Dear Duncan, yellow crayon here. I need you to tell orange crayon that I am the color of the sun. I would tell him, but we are no longer speaking. And I can prove I am the color of the sun too. Last Tuesday, you used me to color in the sun on your happy farm coloring book. In case you've forgotten, it's on page seven. You can't miss me. I'm shining down onto the field of yellow corn. Your pal and the true color of the sun, yellow crayon. So right here we have page seven. We have the yellow sun shining down on the yellow corn. A yellow crayon is pointing up to it. And orange crayon doesn't look too happy with, about that with his hand on his hip. Let's see what orange crayon has to say about this. Dear Duncan, I see Yellow Crayon already talked to you. That big whiner. Anyway, could you please tell Mr. Tattletail that he is not the color of the sun? I would, but we are no longer speaking. We both know that I'm clearly the color of the sun because on Thursday, you used me to color the sun on both the Monkey Island and the Meet the Zookeeper pages in your Day at the Zoo coloring book. Aren't you glad I'm here? Ha! You're a pal and the real color of the sun, Orange Crayon. So here we have Orange Crayon demonstrating that he is the true color of the sun. On the Meet the Zookeeper page, we have the orange sun up here. And on the Monkey Island page with the orange sun there. So what do you think? Do you draw your sons yellow or orange? Or both, like Duncan. Dear Duncan, it has been great being your favorite color this past year and the year before and the year before that. I have really enjoyed all these oceans, lakes, rivers, raindrops, rain clouds, and clear skies. But the bad news is that I'm so short and stubby I can't even see over the railing in the crayon box anymore. I need a break. Your very stubby friend, Blue Crayon. So we have Blue Crayon over here. What is your favorite color? I think blue might be, might be my favorite color too. Duncan, okay, listen here, kid. I have not been used once in the past year. It's because you think I'm a girl's color, isn't it? Speaking of which, Please tell your little sister I said thank you for using me to color in her little princess coloring book. I think she did a fabulous job of staying inside the lines. Now back to us. Could you please use me some time to color the occasional pink dinosaur or monster or cowboy? Goodness knows that they could use a splash of color. Your unused friend, Pink Crown. So here we have Pink Crayon demonstrating that yes, you can have a pink dinosaur, a pink monster, and a pink cowboy too. Because remember, pink is just not only a girl's color. Hey Duncan, it's me, Peach Crayon. Why did you peel off my paper wrapping? Now I'm naked 
and too embarrassed to leave the crayon box. I don't even have underwear. How would you like to go to school naked? I need some clothes. Help your naked friend, Peach Crayon. That wasn't very nice of Duncan, was it? Well, poor Duncan just wanted to color. And of course he wanted his crayons to be happy. That gave him an idea. What do you think Duncan did? Well, let's find out. When Duncan showed his teacher his new picture, she gave him an A for coloring. We'll come right back to this page because this is one of my favorite pages. And an A plus for creativity. So what Duncan did, he drew this wonderful picture. So over here, we have a pink dinosaur and we have an orange humpback whale. We have a blue wizard. We have a red elephant. And of course, a purple dragon. And even a, a black rainbow. That is wonderful. And then we have a pink cowboy over here. And guess what? What is the true color of the sun? Well, I think it might be orange. Because that's what Duncan drew here. Alright, so that has been the day the crayons quit. One of my favorite stories. Alright, so before we get to the second story, let's Take a quick body break. All right, my bubble gums, time for our body break. So, Pappy, what should we do for a body break today? So, Poppy wants to do one of their favorite body breaks. Do you know the song, The Wheels on the Bus? The wheels on the bus go round and round. Well, we are going to do a song similar to that based on the drawings that Duncan did. So, we're going to do the animals in the zoo. All right, so we're going to have four animals in a zoo. We're going to have a kitten, an elephant, a dragon, and a Santa. Yes, even a Santa is going to be in a zoo. All right, so for the kitten, we're going to have their whiskers. So the whiskers on the kitten go wiggle, 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 wiggle. The whiskers on the cat go wiggle, 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 all through the zoo. Next up is the elephant. And what is an elephant? His trunk. So we're gonna go, the elephant's trunk went poo, poo, poo. The elephant's trunk went poo, all through the zoo. Yes, you can be silly, cause Naomi is silly. So next we have the dragon. What does a dragon have? His tail. So we're gonna go, the dragon's tail went swish, 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 swish. The dragon's tail went swish, 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 all through the zoo. And finally, we have Santa. And what does Santa have? Well, Santa usually has gifts, but I don't have any gifts today. So what does Santa also have? His laugh. So we're gonna go, Santa's laugh went ho, 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 ho. Santa's laugh went ho, 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 all through the zoo. Wasn't that fun? All right, if you were standing, sit back down for our second story. All right, everybody. So our final story today is Red. Another story about crayons. So this is Red, a crayon story. Yellow crayon goes, uh-oh. Orange crayon goes, what? This is a story about a crayon I know. I wrote it for you, said Pencil. Hey, I'm friends with that crayon, says Purple Crayon. I love this story, said Brown Crayon. So read a crayon story. It is written and illustrated by Michael Hall, and it is from Green Willow Books, an imprint of HarperCollins Publishers. He was read. But he wasn't very good at it. What did Red Crayon draw? Well, it looks like a fire truck. Oh dear, says Olive Crayon. His teacher thought he needed more practice. I'll draw a red strawberry and you draw a red strawberry. You can do this really, said Scarlet Crayon. But he couldn't really. Like this, said Red Crayon. 
Oh my, let's start again, said Scarlet Crayon. What did Red Crayon draw? Well, their strawberries looks different from their teachers. His mother thought he needed to mix with other colors. Why don't you two go out and draw a nice round orange, said Olive Crayon. A really big one, says Yellow Crayon. A really orange one, said Red Crayon. Now, why do you think his mother wanted red crayon to draw with yellow crayon to make an orange? Well, that's because if you mix red and yellow together, you make the color orange. But they made a big greenish one. Yuck, said yellow crayon. Oops, said red crayon. His grandparents thought he wasn't warm enough. Your class is making self-portraits for parents' night. Wear this warm red scarf, said Silver Crayon. Nice, it is so you, says Gray Crayon. But it so wasn't. So the pictures we have, we have a goldy crayon, we have a teal crayon, we have a purple crayon, we have an orange crayon, and we have a green crayon, and then finally, we have Red's portrait. Oh dear me, said Silver Crayon. Everyone seemed to have something to say. Sometimes I wonder if he's really red at all, said Amber Crayon. Don't be silly, it says red on his label, says Hazelnut Crayon. He came that way from the factory, said Coca Bean Crayon. Frankly, I don't think he's very bright, said Fuchsia Crayon. Well, I think he's lazy, says Grape Crayon. Right, he's got to press harder, said Arby Green Crayon. Really apply himself, said Steel Gray Crayon. Give him time, he'll catch on, said Sunshine Crayon. Of course he will, said Sea Green Crayon. That's not very nice to talk about somebody when they're not in the same room. But he didn't catch on. Green crayon drew a green frog. Black crayon drew a black sheep. Brown crayon drew a brown cow. And red crayon drew a red ack. All the art supplies wanted to help. The masking tape thought he was broken inside. This will help hold you together. The scissors thought his label was too tight. One snip should do it. I thought he wasn't sharp enough. Stay still now, said Pencil. But even with all of our help and all of his hard work, so Red Crayon chews some hearts, some grapes, some foxes, and some toenails. He just couldn't get the hang of it. Look, with the help of Black Crayon, Yellow Crayon, Green Crayon, Red crayon tried to draw a traffic light. We have green light, yellow light, and this color. One day he met a new friend. Will you make a blue ocean for my boat, said Bear Crayon. And I think Duncan would be very proud of this boat, don't you think so? I can't, I'm red, said Red Crayon. Will you try, said Berry Crayon. That's nice, said Berry Crayon. So he did. Thank you, it's perfect. You're welcome, it was easy, says Red Crayon. And he didn't stop there. He drew blue bells, blue jeans, blue birds, blueberries, and blue whales. I'm blue, he says. He was red. Oh, no. Pencil scratched that out. Blue. And everyone was talking. My son is brilliant, said Olive Crayon. Who could have known he was blue, said Amber Crayon. I always said he was blue, said Hazelnut Crayon. It was obvious, said Cocoa Bean Crayon. His blue ocean really lifted me, said Barry Crayon. All of his work makes me happy, says Sea Green Crayon. His blue strawberries are my favorite, said Brown Crayon. 
He's so intense, says Apple Green Crown. I'm going to make a green lizard with him. A really big one, said Yellow Crayon. So remember at the start of the book, when his mother wanted him to go draw with yellow? And to make that orange? Because remember, red and yellow makes orange. But when red realized that he was blue, well, yellow and blue mixed together makes green. So between blue crayon and yellow crayon, they're going to make a big green lizard. I hear he's working on a huge new project, said Gray Crayon. He's really reaching for the sky, said Scarlet Crayon. And he really was. What a lovely blue sky he drew. And then at the back of the book, we have two crayons talking again. We have Berry Crayon saying, isn't it a beautiful day? And the purple crayon saying, it's perfect. So just like their day, this book was perfect. So remember, sometimes our outsides don't match our insides. And that is okay. As long as you're true to yourself, that is all that matters. Well, that is all I have for you today. And I hope you've enjoyed these stories as much as I have reading them to you. So both Poppy and I want you to have a magical day. And this is just bye for now. Until next time. Bye, everybody.